I almost lost 11 grand. <laughs> Now, today is Youth Homelessness Matters Day and we're being urged to rethink our definition of what it means to be living in a place, uh, sorry, means to be without a place to live. When we think of homelessness, this is what usually comes to mind. Sleeping rough in public places or in makeshift shelters. But most young people who find themselves without a place to call home aren't out on the streets. When I got kicked out of the apartment I was living in with my now ex-boyfriend, I realised I didn't have anywhere else to go. Yeah, I was staying at a friend's house and I did have a roof over my head, but I felt, yeah, completely alone. Bianca is far from an isolated case. On any given night, 32,000 children and young Australians are homeless and around half of them are thought to be sleeping on people's floors or couches. Now, one of the country's most successful youth crisis services wants to expose this hidden homelessness. The Salvation Army's Oasis Youth Support Network provides accommodation, meals, counselling and care to homeless youth in Sydney's inner city. They're urging people to spend a night on the sofa in June to raise awareness about couch surfing and its risks to young people. Major Robin Moulds is the director of the Oasis Youth Support Network. Robin, isn't sleeping on the couch much safer for these homeless people than sleeping on the street? Well, it seems that way. You might be free from the elements of the weather and people out there, but actually it's not really that safe. It's actually quite a dark space to be in. It's a very vulnerable place. Many of the young people who have been homeless report that they've been placed in very compromising situations when they're staying with people. Under Kevin Rudd, the Labor government promised to halve homelessness by 2020. How's that goal going? <laughs> well, I think that um, <laughs> for that, uh, the report isn't due out till next year. And uh, they really were targeting rough sleepers first, those who sleep on the streets. And you don't actually find young people on the streets. And so, but I've got to tell you, I haven't seen a, a decrease in the number of people who are contacting our services. Robin, there seems to be a feeling that youth homelessness is increasing. Uh, is, that, is that true? I think that due to the economic situation and family breakdowns, that does impact youth homelessness. But I think also the other thing is that this, uh, that the community are becoming more aware of youth homelessness. And that's why we're doing the couch project is to let people know that, that couch surfing is homelessness, that it's a hidden form and to look for young people who are doing, who are going from couch to couch and make sure that you can seek them out and to get assistance for them. Robin, I love the name of your campaign. I wouldn't mind changing the seating arrangements here and calling ourselves the Couch Project, to be honest. <laughs> now, what do you actually want people to do? Well, we own the Couch Project, but that's OK. <laughs> but what we're trying to do is that uh, we want to, on June the 8th, to encourage everyone to sleep on the couch for a night and to get sponsors and to be able to raise the awareness and to help us to raise funds so that we can bring down this number. And what great, better excuse to get away from that snoring partner than to sleep <laughs> on the couch and to make money at the same time. Well, it's a genius idea to have people sleep for charity Robin, good luck with it. Thank you. Here's a great initiative. If you want more info on the Couch Project, just go to our website. The interesting idea here is that you don't have to be houseless to be homeless mm. and that we often think just because they have a house they're okay. Well they're not. It's, mm. it's a result of family crisis, you know, boys tend to be kicked out, mm. girls tend to be, tend to leave on their own, run away. It's a serious issue. Mm. Absolutely. And hopefully this does make a difference. Stick around, we're going to be right back after this.